Today we're going to have another one from Diesel Punk. Um, yeah, the first one I had, I think I had the IPA, Diesel Punk IPA. And, you know, it says that it's on the can. Now, this is before I read any of the um, anything on the website or whatever, looked it up. It says, uh, brewed, in, let's see, brewed by World Beers Rochester. Uh, and I thought Diesel Punk was kind of like the name of the IPA, like Diesel Punk IPA. But, you no, know, World Brews, I guess, brews it for Diesel Punk. Diesel Punk is the brand. Uh, this one is the Honey Amber. Now, what I say that about this because, and it says, brewed by World Brews, Rochester, New York. And from what I can read, it's uh, all from the the Genesee, same place the Genesee is made, Genesee Ale, Cream Ale, whatever. So, anyway, um, anyway, this, like I said, this is the Diesel Punk Honey Amber. Honey Amber comes in at 4.5%. It says lager with honey added. So, you know, it's not... Not expecting much, but uh, really, really hot. Just finished cutting the grass. That's why I'm probably sweaty and all that. Uh, just finished cutting the grass. Um, it's got to be 80. Blah, blah, blah. What's it? It's got to be 80 something out here today. What's the temperature? Hold on. I'm sorry. Uh, what's the temperature today or right now? Oh, got to put in my right code. Don't even know what code it is. Um. Well, come on. Okay, it says 84 degrees. That's right, 84 degrees here in May. Yep, that's Florida for you, right? So uh, let's go ahead and pop this thing open. A nice little pop. I didn't look at the bottom to see if there's a date on it, but uh, let's go ahead and pour it. Well, it looks it looks pretty. If nothing else, look at that. I mean, it's it's pretty clear, kind of orangey. Yeah, it's a. It's kind of amber, but it's really, really translucent. You can see right through it. Good carbonation bubbles, and you got a good uh, two finger there. Yeah, really, really clear. I say clear, translucent. Uh, big head on it. Uh, it's off white. It's uh, yeah. I mean, it's not white. It's it's off white. Nicely tack, uh, tight packed bubbles though. Uh, a couple big ones around the side, but pretty pretty much uh, tightly packed. Good, good carbonation coming from the bottom. Look at that nice carbonation. Well, you can't see it, but I can. And like I said, it, it was probably about two fingers at one point. All right, let's go ahead and smell it. Ooh. Yeah, it, it does smell like a lager. I mean, it, it smells like a basic lager. You get some uh, some grainy smell, like a bready smell in there. Maybe a little sweetness from a, a honey type of smell in there, too. You know, which is kind of weird. Like, I, I just got to, be, got to thinking about it. It says a honey amber. But it's a lager with honey. I don't know. A anyway, not expecting much, but let's go ahead and taste it. Oh, I just realized I got my gloves on, don't I? Sorry. Cutting the grass, I like to put gloves on now. Haven't done that. I mean, I just started doing it a couple years ago. Just to uh, keep from uh, screwing my hands up, right? Alright, let's do this again. I mean, yeah, you do get you get some of that honey up in there. I mean, it's really sweet, slight honey taste. It's not a lot of taste, though, actually. Not bad at all, though. Um, a nice crisp taste. Uh, nice for beautiful weather like this. I mean, it's it's like something you you drink sitting around the. Uh, you know, on the beach or the uh, <clears throat> out in the sun, cutting the grass. I mean, that's really nice for that part. I mean, it's not it's not the greatest beer in the world. There's my air. Sorry about that. Not the best tasting beer in the world, but it's it's good for like I said, cutting the grass. What's that? What, what do you call it? A lawnmower beer? Good lawnmower beer. I mean, you know, a lot better than a Bud Light or a Mick Light or Mick Light. Well, Mick Light or Miller Light or anything like that. I mean, it's got a little bit of flavor to it. Nice sweetness from some honey. Um, good bready taste, nice and uh, I would say maybe a toasted, like a like a biscuity taste. You know, and the more I taste, I do get a little bit of caramel in it, very very slight, but a little bit of caramel caramel malt taste in there. 
Yeah, overall, not a, not a terrible beer. Like I said, I drink it cutting the grass, and that's what I did, right? All right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Getting the idea. Look, folks, it's like this. If you don't work here, if you don't sleep here, if you don't sleep with anybody that works here. Well, uh, Dennis, they only have one choice no matter, don't they? Well, that's that's this choice. Get the hell out!